hey you girls welcome back to my channel so in this one i thought i would tell you about what we can learn from men like the four skills that i wish that we as women would mimic from them and the first one being men compartmentalize okay so men actually put women in boxes they put them in categories when they meet them so if you've been like on two dates with the man basically he knows whether uh he wants to be in a serious relationship with you or he just want to be in a fbw uh with you okay and i wish that we women would do the skill when it comes to friendship because a lot of women experience a lot of grievances when it comes to friendship because they are not able to dissociate friends from acquaintances i actually think i'm going to film this video called we don't have friends merely acquaintances and it's because most people don't actually have any friend and when i'm talking friend i'm talking true blue friend okay i'm talking someone you would call at 4 a.m because your child is in the hospital and they would actually show up i'm talking about the person who would lend you two three hundred dollars when you're short on your rent okay most of us don't have that okay we have acquaintances so people we know we hang out with them we have drinks with them we go to restaurants with them but they are not actually our friends now i'm lucky enough to have a friend i would actually say that i have three friends and two good acquaintances because even among acquaintances it's important to dissociate the good acquaintances from just the one that are merely acquaintances okay so what is a good acquaintance it's someone who you know isn't a friend yet but could possibly in the future become one okay so this is somebody who for example if you're very very depressed they would come by your house and clean or uh, they would cook you something uh, but they wouldn't come at 2 a.m. Uh, in the night okay <laughs> they're not gonna cut the sleep for you okay so this is a good acquaintance and maybe with time as the months pass by they can become a friend and even among like normal acquaintances it's important to dissociate based on activities right there are some acquaintances that are best suited for shopping and there are some acquaintances that are best suited for dinners okay so let's say that you are like me and you enjoy you know fine dining and you know uh, upscale restaurants so if you have an acquaintance that ain't got it like that instead of taking her all the time and having to foot the bill and being resentful of her what you can do is you know pick her as a gym acquaintance or as a shopping acquaintance i really feel like that if we as women would implement this skill it would really really help us and save us from a lot of grievances when it comes to friendship also ladies be mindful of love bombing when it comes to friendship i know that's not what this video is about but i have adhd so i'm still gonna go on this tangent or touch on it a bit so it reminded me that you know a couple of weeks ago uh, i was talking to this person and they were like hey because you're my best friend you know you're my best friend and you know I do a lot of things for the plot so i didn't actually you know correct her i was like mm -hmm, yeah yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but in my mind i'm thinking i ain't your best friend <laughs> like what i ain't even your friend like i barely know you ma'am stop playing now okay like, i never even been to your house like this is someone i invited to my house repeatedly and i never been even to where she live i mean i know where she live okay but i never she never invited me inside her apartment and now she's out here telling me we're besties and i'm supposed to buy that okay so stay woke because a lot of people uh in order to use you are going to mirror to you something that isn't true or maybe they want you to tell them uh all your business and they're going to be telling you oh we're besties blah blah blah, blah, blah when deep down inside they all ain't okay so stay woke do like men put friends in categories and boxes and avoid you know grievances that way the second skill i feel we could learn from men is that men don't give up their friends when they get in a relationship they don't give up their activities like if a man plays soccer every friday he's gonna play his soccer okay now maybe the two three weeks the first ones because you know that's really like the sweetest time of a relationship he may skip soccer uh for you to be happy but generally men keep doing what they used to do before they get into relationship and i really wish that we as men would do that i talked about it in the last video ladies for the love of god stop giving up on your friends because you got into a relationship a man can't be your everything okay so keep showing up to girls night okay once a week one every two weeks you know if you can't do once a week because you're married and got kids but keep showing up okay keep doing your thing if you like playing bridges or anything keep doing that keep doing your activities keep being your own person you can't build your entire life around your kids and your man that's not how it works now what if you know something happened to him or he leaves you what are you going to do who are you going to be okay it's important to have your own identity you, you are your own person you were born alone okay so keep being you keep doing you okay 
the third thing is that men are selfish oh my god if there is one thing one thing i wish that we as women would mimic from them is that men are very very selfish okay men are for self okay men are always going to do what's best for them and they don't care about anybody's feelings either you know this is why they cheat all right uh, and they know this will hurt their wife they know it's disrespectful or girlfriend but they're still gonna do it and even when there is no issue like particular issue in the relationship you know no relationship is perfect and there are always bad days we are human beings sometimes you wake up and you're not in the best mood and obviously your partner is going to suffer from that a bit but a relationship could be perfectly fine and a man would still cheat I actually had an acquaintance who did that you know he was in this relationship only two years you guys so you know they say the first two years are the honeymoon phase so really the time where the couple is very happy and he cheated on his girlfriend and then i asked him like why would you do that were there any problems were you guys not you know having any time in the bedroom and everything and he was like yeah we were like everything was okay and i'm like so why did you do it and he said do you know what he said you guys he said the only thing better than cat is some new cat <laughs> I wish I was making it up. I wish I was making He said that verbatim. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. And that's how men be. Men will always follow their happiness. They will do what they want. They will lead women on, psychics for 10 years, telling them how they finally leave their wife and not leave because they want the boot, they want the butter, you know, they want the cow, they, they want to sleep with the woman who owned the cow, they want the meat. Men don't care. Okay. And I wish that we as women, I'm not saying go out there and cheat on your man or whatever, but I wish that we would also do that as in we would prioritize ourselves and our happiness that we wouldn't constantly sacrifice for our kids and constantly sacrifice i mean some level of sacrificing for your kids is necessary but you know you don't have to throw your life away because your mom or no longer push your goals and dreams and aspiration and you know no longer do anything for yourself and no longer hang out with your friends like we discussed before like be selfish ladies if there is one thing i want black women in particular to be in 2025 is selfish stop being everything to everybody they will be fine be selfish prioritize yourself prioritize your happiness obviously you know don't take it too far like men do don't be out here cheating because and that's the fourth thing is that men don't condone cheating listen men don't forgive cheating nearly as much as women do now of course sometimes they do the exception to every rule i personally know two men in you know my life that have uh forgiven cheating to the partner that they were with but generally men understand that cheating is an act of disrespect they do and because of that when their wife or girlfriend cheats they leave but women women stay they put up with cheating they put up with outside baby even some of you guys so this man risk your life right by sleeping with this woman without any protection he could have brought you hiv but you're still gonna stay with him some of you guys even allowing that child into your which you know the child didn't do anything but it's just like how forgiving can you be like i it couldn't be me i couldn't imagine still you know giving the time of the day or even being in speaking terms with a man who risked my livelihood who put me in a situation potentially or could have put me in a situation where i would have to take medication you know daily or regularly I don't know how often people take prep is it every second day i don't know but yeah like ladies do better because yeah we just can't continue doing this and the fifth and final one that i'm going to be addressing i know i say four is men lie <laughs> okay now i'm not saying be a pathological lie out here but i'm telling you that don't be telling all your business at least in the beginning so you meet a man and he's asking you about your ex was your ex abusive have you ever been in a toxic relationship lie and say no because if you say yes do you know what he's gonna think okay this is a woman who condone abuse and then eventually most of the time more time than not he's gonna abuse you you guys think by telling this man oh my ex was horrible he abused me he's gonna be like oh you poor thing i would never do that to you now maybe he would say that but most of them will actually do the very same or worse okay so stop telling men all your business learn how to lie okay lying by omission or whatever helping other people say no but if you're not in a committed relationship with this man go out and date other people okay like we said before if he won't commit somebody else will we say this before men put women in categories so if you see he didn't put you in the serious category why are you doing that why are you making him you know your priority when he you are just an option to him listen ladies learn how to tell lies okay not all the time again not about everything but when it comes to protecting yourself you know where do you live do you live here if a man drop you somewhere and you give him a fake address you know 
yeah say yeah when you don't live there when you live close by and then later you can explain to him you know i didn't know you i had to protect myself what are you doing tonight oh it's girls night and then go on your date with another man maybe someone who is actually taking you seriously whatever it is lie lie about you know your job if you have to you know how much money you earn how much money you got do what you need to do okay because again this man don't care i don't actually believe anything that come out of a man's mouth you know i'll always ask for the id cards just to verify that their name is their name you know and that's what i would believe about them you know because men lie they're always lying they're constantly lying everything they tell you most of the things they tell you most of the time is a lie like sure seven says if his mouth is moving he's telling a lie okay so stay woke okay ask men are you in a relationship and if they say no ask them is there anyone out here in this world who believes she's in a relationship with you and see them laugh 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 okay and on that note i'm gone you guys uh in the comment section down below let all the ladies know what are the other things that we can learn from men if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well and i will talk to you guys on sunday 4 p.m eastern standard time bye guys thanks for watching Mwah.